Hello and welcome from Dusseldorf Caravan Salon. This, as you can see, is a Mercedes Sprinter. It is a camper van conversion from Reiser Mobil Manufaktur from the uh, eastern part of Germany. And it's a very unusual, I think, uh, I think it's a well thought out uh, conversion. Uh, it's a division of the van into three parts. Okay, I'll give you the bar news. It's 106,000 euros. Uh, it's got, um, but it comes like fully equipped. It's got three uh, 100 watt uh, solar panels on the roof. It's got a fresh, wa fr fresh water tank, 95 liters, dirty water tanks, 80 liters. And it's got lots of other equipment. In fact, I'll show you show you the list of equipment, additional equipment it's got on it. So uh, that gives you an idea. Right. So the van itself is uh, so it's, it's 697 uh, centimeters long. It's the long version of the Mercedes. It's 202 centimeters wide at its maximum. And as you can probably tell from the the way the uh, wheels are, it's a four x four vehicle. Now, if you take the, the lounge here, that makes sense uh, in my opinion. In fact, uh, I'm, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Uh, I'm going to put one seat at the back and uh, two up front. So you've got three seats. So if you're uh, sitting, sitting uh, with the uh, driver's seat turned around, then you sort of face to face with the person you're with. And that's always nice to have, a thing, have an extra chair there. Um, should it, should it be needed? In my, I guess in my conversion, I'm going to put on a much bigger table because I'm a bit of a I live in a mess, and I've got all my computers and other stuff out when I'm uh, messing around. Uh, Dometic brought out this fridge uh, this year, 2019. It opens two ways. It opens this way. Oh, I've got the beer in there, and it opens this way. So it makes sense to put it in that position so it doesn't block the gangway. Let's come in. Now what they've done here is, although this isn't what I would have done, but they've put up there, they've used the bulwark to put up a bit of extra storage. Ooh, it's a bit stiff. Well, it's new I suppose. So you, you see, you don't really have a huge amount of space in there. That's why I'm going to leave that purse, I'm going to leave that empty. But uh, you know, I'm always on about st storing things. You've got to put your clothes somewhere and things like, uh, you know, do you want to wear dirty clothes and this type of thing if you're going on a long trip. Uh, so, uh, you know, storage is important. Uh, they've done well to get that here, the, the skylight. The roof is curved, it's not easy to put uh, the skylights in here. You know, I, I, I'd love to be able to put a big one in, but I just don't know how to do it. You know these. So this is like a standard sized uh, skylight there. Right, electrics are up there, and the heating. Sink here. Oh, I can't open the, I can't open the sink. I'm no strength. It's a nice big sink with a uh, domestic plug in it. But you see, we're missing something now, aren't we? Well, we're going to do the cooking. Mm -hmm. Now, these fans are built to order, so maybe the uh, the person who wanted this chose not to have uh, a cooker. Um, sometimes you have them in the drawers. They've got these cassette type things which come out. Anyway, I definitely want a cooker in mine. Oh, but where well, it does it, wants coffee. Okay, so this is room number one. Room number two, what, could, what do you think is in there? Well, it can only be this, really. Now, the uh, problem with the Mercedes is the, uh, the width, okay, and it's 202 centimeters. Uh, I'm a bit an issue with straighten, so I won't. Don't step on it. Okay, shower in here. Um, you know, because also because the slide, the way it slides there, it is difficult to actually do. But I think actually this is not a bad solution, actually, but but in like here. And finally, we come out to position number three. The bed will go up and down. In fact, incidentally, that bed, this bed currently hasn't got, got a mattress, so there's even less space up top. So, 
but you've got all this space down here. And this, I think, is the clever bit. Uh, you, you know, so I think they're thinking of bikers or something like that. And you, I don't know how many motorbikes you actually fit in there or whatever, but a huge amount of storage down here. They've taken the panels off so you can see what, what else is down here. You've got that battery there, for example. Here you've got, you've got your fuses, uh, um, other, other electrics, so you can see what's going on in the van. I think that uh, I think that's pretty pretty clever. Uh, I think the bed is operates manually, but so you can up and bring it up and down. The bed itself's got a froby system. Yeah, I'll show you. So uh, a froly, fro not froby, froly. So that I mean that, that I think that, I think that's pretty clever actually. One idea that I have, which I'll tell you about, is this: uh, to make the bed a bit thinner, but to put uh, the um, storage on one side, but nothing on the other. They've got windows on either side, so these have to be obviously cut out of the van. And my idea was not to actually put any windows in at all, except in in the roof. So I think that's pretty original. Obviously, if you build, build to order, you build what the client wants. Okay. You might advise the client, saying, "Well, that's a bit daft," uh, but you know, but you, the client gets what they want. You might get the situation: the client says, "No, I don't want to cook food." Okay, right? So, yeah, you're not getting any cooked food. So, oh, another interesting point is this: I just led you up here, so I think you know, like, keep things up there the same time as maintaining the uh, the light as well that would come from there. Good, let's have a look on the outside. So the lights are, lights are now going off in the van. I saw in the halls. Oh, so Oh, they've put a place up top. You can sit up there if you want, on the roof. Hello. Well, in my opinion, that is a pretty impressive uh, van. Uh, I mean, you might like the way it's done, but I mean, it's it, uh, it, this, the layout is original. Now, obviously, they're building to order, so they build on other uh, bases. For example, we've got over there we've got a crafter. Um, I think they do one op build on Opal as well, um, and on Ducato. That's M A N. Oh, we've got a bit of everything here. So if you found that uh, of any interest or why it was any use, you might want to sponsor me on Patreon. Uh, please subscribe and uh, I shall uh, continue to uh, produce things of this, uh, which I hope are of interest. <laughs>